Right, this is a quick overview of two things that I've been sent recently and they sent to me from Lytake or Lytake um, they sent me these two things to do a review on what I'll do, I'll put links to the prices and everything in the description, we'll just do a quick overview and then go outside and use them the first thing is, I won't be able to show you me using this which is camping stove because I've still not been able to get the right gas bottle for it. I've tried two different times, like three different times to buy different ones, and none of them fit. But I'll give you a quick rundown of it. So it is one of these ultralight camping stoves. Ultralight camping stoves, all fully folding. So it's pretty small. Fully folding. And then fold these out. And your pot or whatever would sit on top like that. It says on the thing butane or propane well, like I said I've been mean, trying to get the bottles I couldn't find the right one and you would screw your bottle on here on the end or somehow attach it on and it's got this for turning it on and off or letting the gas out and it's even got its own igniter which is pretty good save you having to get there get near level of flame so what I will do, when I do finally get a bottle for this, I will definitely do another video about that to show it. Because I won't mind using that in the woods anyway. It's got its own little bag. I'll see if I can find out the weight, and then I'll put that in the description as well. What it says here, uh, I assume that is it, 136 grams. It is light, you wouldn't know you had that, but, You've got to remember you have to add the bottle to that. And what this is here for is I'm going to use this with the cooking set instead. So with the cooking set, DS301, we've got, what says here, frying pan, frying pan. Well, that's just, I don't know what that means. I don't know what, panicking, panicking, and whatever that says. Let's disregard that. We'll open it up and have a look. But to be honest, I'm definitely going to use this next time we go down the woods. What I normally use, if you'd notice, is the old aluminium mess tins or homemade stuff now I've got this I will use it I could also well, that's something else right it comes in this kind of net bag which would be pretty useful for things I don't know if this has got the weight on it. It says, I think the weight of this is 650 grams. For each of them, I've got these folding handles. Which go together like that. So we've got a frying pan. Oh, you can get a smaller size version on this. Mike's got one of these, my twin brother, he got sent one, and it's a smaller version. So here's one of these, it's more like a cup rather than a pan. So we've got another big pan. Smaller frying pan, which I believe also works 
yeah, has the lid to that one. And you've got a big pan. And this one, I'll show you this one works. Yeah, there's the lid for that one. So that's a pretty good idea, quite like that. So each pan and saucepan will fit each other as lids. And it comes with this little wooden spatula. A kind of scouring sponge thing, I'm not sure what that's made out of. Sponge thing. Folding handle scoop spoon thing ladle. And three smaller kind of little bowls. What's a polypropylene on them so all together looks like a pretty useful little kit for taking down the woods what I'll do I'll take this outside now and then we'll have a go with a bit of it in the garden Well, I just had to put another porridge in there because I put way too much water in. So what I'm going to do, I'll stir this up a bit. I'll let this cool down and I'll eat it. And then we'll also see what it's like trying to get this clean again. Because I noticed with the like the army mess tins, 
well the, alum not the army, the aluminium mess tins that once you get caked on food on these it can be a nightmare getting it off so we'll see what this is like I might have to let this just cool down for a minute before I eat it yeah, way too hot we'll leave that a minute and try it again right, well that's cooled down enough now to eat so I'll eat this, leave a bit in there and let it dry out and see if we can clean it or not. Right, so that's been in there a little while now. And just to kind of replicate what you might have outside, all I've got is just a wet sponge. You see how easy this comes off. That was easy, there's a couple of bits in there, but only because I had a damp sponge, so that's all out of there. It's not one of them which is hard to clean off. So, what I'll do, I'll put the price of these and where you can get them from in the description. And that's that. I thought that was pretty decent stuff, and I'm definitely going to use this next time I go camping. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.